I don't know why, but if I sit down to write an email and I'm writing it with the knowledge that I will be sending it from an email marketing platform, uh, my mind goes blank and I forget myself. I just draw a blank. I knew that you were supposed to send weekly newsletters, but in the past I tended to send emails out of obligation with no purpose or reason behind it. Everyone said, send weekly emails. So week after week, I would send weekly emails that would give value, but wouldn't do anything else. And I would never mention any offers because I was too scared to, or I didn't have any. And I would do this for a couple of months and then I would fall off the wagon and not send any emails for a few months. And this was a kind of pattern that repeated itself. So if like me, you're not a natural writer, and maybe even if you are, it's really hard to make sure that you're sending emails with a strategic purpose behind them to help you sell your things. That's why I created my email planner. It doesn't help me with what to put into my emails, but it does help me with the strategic purpose behind my emails. So let's take a peek behind the curtain of how I do this. Okay, so this is my business hub where I kind of access everything. And the main page is my uh, marketing campaign calendar. And this kind of links all my other planners together. So, and this is obviously my starting point is deciding what product I'm gonna focus on selling on, selling at what time. So for the next two weeks, I'm gonna be focusing, well, we're on the 5th of October today, and this is in a couple of weeks time, I'm gonna be focusing on selling my product planner. So if I click on this, it's currently in the status of in creation. I've got my YouTube videos planned and they're in here. And then um, this is where I would also plan my emails. So I've worked on my YouTube videos, but not my emails yet. So the way I would do this is click into my email campaign and I would either select an existing campaign that I've run before that's worked well and maybe tweak it or something, or I create my new campaign. So I'm going to put um, four, four part campaign for the product planner and by typing this in here if I click this plus button it creates a new entry in my email campaign planner so if I I'll click in here first and I'll give it a status so I can find it so I'll put this as idea right now and the send date will start around the 16th and we'll say it runs for two weeks. I might change the number of emails in that, but this is just to kind of flesh it out and make sure it's in my calendar. So now if I go into my email marketing calendar, I can see my product planner campaign is now automatically populated in here and I can click on it. And I've got my um, four part campaign for the product planner. So if I click on that, I can access all the information. And within my email marketing um, planner, I have this template specifically for sequences, which is so obviously you plan newsletters and then you plan sequences. So for a sequence, I would use this template, which always takes a while to load or it was yesterday. And um, now I have space to add each separate email for my campaign down here. So I can have the kind of overall information up here and then I can put in each individual email down here. Um, and so I can use this to plan out that campaign so that it ties in with my sales plan. And then what I would do when I'm when I've got this more planned out, I might create tasks like, um, I'm just going to call this email task one so I can find it again and delete it because it's not really a task, it's just for this video. So I could create a task related to email, add that into my task list, click on this and it will bring me through to my task list database. And I can assign a date. So th these emails are going out from the 16th to the 27th. So maybe I want to write my emails next week so that they're ready. So assign it to the Monday. And the status is not started. And then if I show you my task database. So my tasks are in my favourites over here. 
So this is my tasks for this week. If I can check next week. Here we go. So we can see that uh, my, where's next week? Right, email newsletter. Yeah, email task one is there on the 9th of October where I put it. So when I go to view my daily tasks, I can see what I'm due to do. I've got a couple more videos coming up about how I use Notion to organize my email marketing. So make sure you subscribe if you want to see more. And if you're watching this after the event, I'll make sure I come back and leave links to them in the description. I've also got another video coming up soon. It helps with that other problem about what to write in your emails. Look out for that video. The title will be my email marketing secret. <laughs>